Hello? Is anybody there? Second attempt. Woohoo! Good, it's working. Uh, some days the only response to bad news is to come out on the field and make a difference. All I know is this is what he would have wanted. My only regret is I didn't get back on the station while he was still alive. But this is my little tribute to my right bollock. And uh, yep, there's been some developments out here. There's a lot of new stones have grown. Um, of course, been away for a while because I did uh, rather an extreme stone clear of my own. Um, taking a little while to heal. I think I'm well enough now to take a walk around. Don't know Wolfie today because uh, she's staying at my in-laws but hopefully we'll get her back next week. Just while I recovered. Let's see how it goes today. I did ask for my lost ball to be replaced by a stone. You know it's long been my ambition to ah, excuse me, to uh, become a stone man. This was my first chance, the first part of my body I could I could change to stone, just pop a little stone in there. Look, this one would have been pretty good, that one would have fitted nicely. You obviously give it a little run under the tap first. But the doctor said no, wasn't allowed. Medicine, not yet, quite behind me. But there's been some developments out here in the station as I thought a lot of new stones have grown. With this, it must be six weeks since I was last out here. And you cannot leave a field untended for that long. The dog's done a poo there. Look, just in the pathway, stones all over the shop. Uh, there seems to have been some farm equipment have been around this bit, tilling this bit, but the middle is still grassy. Oh, all those lost days of stone clearing, all those stones that could have been cleared. That's what's upsetting for me. Just testing out the, the body. See if I'm capable of walking around a field, see if I'm capable of bending and lifting and throwing. So far, so good. All that lot's healed. I had... Uh, had the operation, what, maybe six weeks ago. Uh, so everything seems to have healed up nicely. So far, um, my testicle has not grown back, which is slightly concerning. But uh, I'm hoping I'll find a witch's finger with one ball on it, which is Dick with one ball on it. That was nearly it. The uh, camera didn't work to begin with, so... Oh, we've got 232 people in the viewing this. Now, that is bad news. That's too many, really. But uh, I guess we've got the elephant of surprise here, haven't we? That uh, the Stone Stasi will have been lulled into a false sense of security. Taking a little hassle half out to find... Oh, look at that, baby. Some nice stones here. Uh... And there's no stone star. Also, this is not the time I would usually come out. So the stone stars, if they are even aware I'm here, will be some way off. Oh, look at this. A nice sibling stone here. Cleft in twain. All into three or four bits by the, by the plough. But so I will put them all together off the field where they belong. On a mini can there with a few of their brothers. They'll be together forever now. Lots and lots of stones out here. It's very exciting, actually. Uh, I guess this is Stone Easter. We had Stone Christmas. Nice stones here. Do shout out if you spot any. I'm sorry I'm not talking to the chat room too much. Uh, just uh, getting my bearings. Am I allowed to bend over this much? We'll find out, won't we? If you see uh, a testicle pop out onto the ground, do shout out. That'll be the other one. Just popping out of its moorings. 
I think I'm all healed. I think it's, it's looking good. The actual cut is in the abdomen. So there's no danger of testicle loss, really. Uh, this looks like a nice candidate for the cairn in the corner of the field. Look at that, babe. There's some nice, nice stones out here. This is a nice little treat, actually, after so long away. Um, Miss Wolfie, but she will be back. And here's the cairn in the corner of the field. It's been rather dominated by this twig someone's thrown on it. It's gone a bit flat. Looks like some, some piltering's gone on there to me. Looks like someone's been stealing stones. They are worth a lot of money, these. That's why the location of this field has to remain a deadly secret. Look at this. And when you think how much I've cleared this particular patch of ground before, and yet still so many stones here, I think you'll get an idea of how much work there is still to do. Look at that, that's a nice, the biggest of the day. And that's not a bad one either. Into the roots of the trees. Oh, loads more here. This is beautiful. This is, am I dreaming? Have I died? Am I Prince Philip? Of course, had I died, I would be up in stone heaven now, clearing heavenly stones. And they've cut this right back to the extent that I think they may have taken a few of my mini cairns out the ground. You can never predict where they're going to go. That's the why the importance of clearing the stones right to the edge of the field. I'll kick that one off a little bit. Ah, oh, there's a nice cairn still existing. So it's looking okay. Planes flying to Luton over there. Life is getting back to normal. And uh, yeah, it's just the perimeter of the field of the stone has been hewn away, so we can see a lot of stones. I presume nothing planted yet, as the middle of the field still covered in grass. Oh, another good one there. Can't leave that boy, baby lion. They can I look at that. Oh, you know, we've been through some tough times out here on this field. You and I together uh, over the winter. Slim pickings. Is that a stone or is that looks like a... Oh, it's a ball. That's not, not going to... I mean, I'm going to get rid of that just because that's offensive to the stone gods. But rubber should not really be out here on the field in any form. Yeah, I am talking about that. Another sibling stones. Three, look at the... And this is the danger... This is why you need to try and rescue the stones as quickly as possible because every year uh, farm machinery goes over them and uh, cuts those stones to pieces. Very tight cut back here. Look at this. Very little pathway left. But they can't get down to those trees. That's where I like to put the stones in the roots of those trees. But we're going to see some stones today, my friends. We've, if you've been with us since the beginning. No jokes, please, in the chat room. This is not in any way a humorous uh, show. There's the path across the field. But I'm going round today. I'll do the long route today. The cairn across from the main cairn still has just clung on there. I think we might have lost a few off the edge, but not looking too bad. That's looking pretty decent. I think you have to agree some monster stones in there. Let's just nudge that one a bit closer to his mates. Look at that. I think a stone's gone in my boot. Oh, the delicious irony. Had a wee before I came out, but still need one. Thanks for your support while I've been away. Thanks for uh, not... Hardly anyone even harassing me at all to... Uh, get out in the field and stone clear almost like no one missed it or anything um, but I, I understand you did miss it I understand you were maintaining a respectful silence oh, I took off my boot to try and get that stone out there wasn't anything in there and now of course I've stood on the ground and now there's loads I can't with my sock my boot's full of stones and I've had to put my sock down again wearing some quite nifty socks you can wear any kind of socks you like out here. Oh, still got some soil on them. There's a nice stone. Off 
it goes. Some kind of crisp packet in the hedge there, I don't approve of that. Wow, 277 people, this might be the highest ever audience ship. Of course, many of these live stone lyrics clears lost forever. We are trying to pres- pres- preserve them on YouTube now. But I did a lot during lockdown one. A lot of wisdom. I hope someone was writing down. Look at this desolate. Weirdly, not so many stones here. I was thinking we're going to see a lot of stones, especially in this area. Usually we're coming up to where the Roman villa or possible windmill used to be. And uh, nice ones. Those are nice ones. Nice round flatters. Nicely off. Nicely off. Hope you saw that. Literally not a soul around apart from me. And of course you guys, 270 people. That's dangerous. Dangerous numbers of people. Really looking for a witch's dick with one ball. That would make my day. That's not quite it. Ah, there's a bit of the Roman villa. Or windmill. Still not sure. No archaeological experts have chimed in to tell me what I'm finding and destroying. All that matters is it's off the field. Coming up to the singing ringing tree. Now, I will be most annoyed if we've missed the one in a thousand years appearance of the elves and fairy folk just because of my stupid ball uh, oh that's a nice one that's bigger than that was a nice iceberg thought it's going to be small came off it was big make sure the soil stays on the on the field where it belongs stones off the field it's a simple takes a moment to learn a lifetime to master another bit the roman villa it's a decent sized brick there off it goes What's this? That looks like Roman Villa. Yeah, look at that. That's a big chunk of Roman Villa. Or oh, windmill. Oh, look at these babies. Look at that. Oops, glasses off. Unpredictably, glasses off. And there's just a nice a regular stone. Maybe we'll put that to the singing ring tree. It's a good size. Don't usually give the elf folk the big ones. That's a bit of brick, but we'll give them that as well today could be the day place your bets betfred.com that's the main betting site that bets on this will it be today a good lot of stones under here of course and that one's done nothing of course my work has become a lot harder generally not here on the field Uh, i've lost my duke my Edinburgh duties. And they pass on they his responsibilities passed to me as king. Uh, very selfish of Prince Philip. But uh, may he rest in peace. This is the kind of thing I was hoping would make it to the Duke of Edinburgh Awards. It was not to be, not, not in his lifetime. But if you'll get a King of Edinburgh Award, what the hell is that? Looks like some kind of sponge, probably from a time when this was deep beneath the real ocean. Yeah, still quite spongy. I'll leave that there. It's organic. And um, we're going back to basics. For me, as much as well for you. If it's organic, no need to panic. If it's not, chuck the twat. Those are the simple rules. The moment to learn, a lifetime to master. Oh, tired out a bit. This is the longest walk I've done in. A uh, couple of months, but uh, trying to get fit. Everything's out, all the bad stuff's out. Uh, had a bit of chemo just to stop it coming back. We should be. What the hell's that thing? It's like seaweed. That might be a little bit of beet. That's the good thing. Having been away for so long, hopefully all the beats have gone. I'd almost forgotten they were ever here. Whew. Uh, if you're new to Stone Clearing, this is probably not the place to start. This is uh, some way into the canon. There's lots of audio 
guides, chapters to help you out. Had a horse then. That could be a baby on a horse. It'd be nice to think that baby on the horse would come back. I only saw it once. A couple of stones off there. Couldn't get them all. There wasn't time. A uh, few other video it's out on YouTube if you want to try and catch up on those. I'm not going to go all the way back and repeat everything. Uh, we have much to learn. A little nice red stone under here. Look at that. And of course there might be the chance of some metal being kicked up by the plough. Here's another stone cleft in twain. It's so sad to see it, but as long as we can keep those siblings together, it's all is not lost. <laughs> Numbers dropping down a bit, 245. I think we nearly got up to 270, 272. Good to see shaking off a few people. Look at these, look at those witches' dicks. There's some nice stones here. Don't get complacent. Be patient, don't be complacent. We really are going back, aren't we? Behind that hedge, there could be stone stasi. Log dogs could come out. There's always the ever present danger of Morlocks. Oh, nice one. Look at that. Off they go. And I saw one that called to me. Can you hear it? Rich, please don't forget me. Look, I've got so many stones to get. Please take me off. Okay, you can come off. That sort of potato shaped stone there. Off it goes. Thanks, Rich. It's all right, man. I'm just doing my job. No favouritism, but sometimes they speak to you sometimes. Look at this guy. It's not my time, Rich. I'll get you tomorrow. I'm camera shy. Don't get me now. No, mate, you've got to come off. You look a bit like an arrow head or something. So, so far, so good. No stitches come out, no gaping wounds opening up. Feeling like I can press on. If I collapse, maybe you could tweak my wife. Let me know, let her know to look for me on the field. Don't tell her what I've been doing. She doesn't know. She must never know. Oh, that one went a bit far. Do be careful not to throw over the hedge. Possibly killing some people. But no one around today. Just you and me. Ugh. It's going well. Ooh. And hopefully it is important that I lose a little bit of weight. Having lost a testicle, everything's unbalanced. You have to balance things back up again. Uh, Apparently your metabolism changes. You have to keep everything in tip-top condition. So I'll be out here a lot. That's a nice stone there. Look at that one. No, just lying there quietly. Looks, looks like a sort of hip bone of some kind. But it's not, it's a stone. Maybe the hip bone of a stone man. From the ancient of days. I don't think we're going to be troubled today. I think it's just going to be us. It's just a chance to reassess the field. Look at the stotion. There's always quite a fecund area up here. You can probably see a lot of stones peppering the way. Like big chunks of pepper on a dish of muddy food. Uh, but we're not going to get them all. Just take the ones that could talk to you. Take the ones that speak to you. Some birds flying off there in the next field. Of course, it's forbidden to go across the next field. Someone's cut down this back a bit. There's a pathway now that I'm trying to block. Decent stones there. Oh, it's comparative. Look at this. We're not really allowed in here. Not allowed to clear in here. Sometimes I take a stone, but look how hard the ground is here comparatively. It would be hard to get anything up from here. Just to, as a demonstration, try and get this baby up. Do have a... I do have my uh, handy trowel. 
And then we go, look at that, up it comes. Shouldn't take it, but I'm putting it on the border. So it's sort of allowed. And no, I don't think anyone's clearing this field. I feel within my rights, but look at that. Not a bad little wall growing there. A lot of that's been secret behind the hedgerow. Right, we'll head across. Missing Wolfie. Also, she is my alibi. Oh, look at that. Biggest one today. I can go on the central wall. It's building up nicely. Uh, a few of my, again, cut back very far and actually interfered a bit with a few of my other cairns here. This is uh, the vandalism from farmers you have to deal with. And yeah, some of these stones are going to have to wait for another day. Oh, that baby's coming out though, can you see it? This is like, it's a bit like watching the, uh, the Mars rover lander, isn't it? We're going to take off in the helicopter in a minute. Oh, I can see something nice there as well. Can you see it? Can you see what it is yet? No, we're not allowed to do it, are we? Let's see if I can fling this one. Oh, not bad, actually got right to the edge. Still officially on the path. We'll have to come and clear that up at a later date. But he's closer. Sorry, they are closer. I don't like to assume the gender of any of these stones. Then there would have been another nice one here. Danger of cutting your fingers, of course, as you lob these ones. Or of opening. Oh, that one didn't do well. Oh, rolled quite well. Oh, danger of opening up wounds. If, say, you've just had a testicle removed. Uh, and we can see the condition of the central soil. Not yet had the uh, plough over it. And it's going to be hard to bring up by most of these stones. A few of them. Look at this fellow. I'll carry him to the middle. Looks a bit like a dog, doesn't he? Oh, oh, hello, Richard. I'm the dog stone. I used to be a little beagle. Why are you doing it without moving your lips, Rich? I don't know. Just because it's good. Sorry, getting into the other show there. Uh... If you've been enjoying these uh, Twitch streams over the lockdown period, uh, we are planning on doing some Rahalastapas at the Clapham Grand in May, June and July. Would love to see you there if you can get to the theatre. You have to come in pairs, it's socially distanced, numbers are limited, but also you can buy tickets to watch it live online at a very reasonable price. Uh, if you would like to support that, head to richardherring.com slash gigs and snap yourself up either a real or a virtual ticket right now because I'm aiming for some big guests, not just in size, in stardom. And uh, it would just be terrific to play to a big crowd. I think we can get 350 people into this 1,500-seater venue. It will still be a bit weird, but it will be nice nicer than just talking to yourself in a field. It's going well, thanks Atom Neither. Sorry, I haven't got my glasses on, if that isn't your name. Um, everything's holding up quite well. Oh, just spot this guy, look at he wants to come off. The select few, it's like uh, Sophie's Choice, it's like Shinder's List. I do get a chance to come back and save them again though later. I don't think this is the crop, I think this is just grass that's quite nice grass, it's nicer than in my garden. Well, it's all fairly in a straight line so maybe it is a crop, I don't know. Uh, maybe there will be no plough coming through this bit. Maybe we'll just have to work with what we've got. So coming up to the central cairn. It feels like a long time since I've seen my friends out here picking up another stone. Oh, well, we've got to pick this one up, haven't we? Look at that. That looks like a horse. Nay, Rich. Ooh, I'm a horse stone. Ooh. I used to be a hammer in a previous life. Come on, guys, stop clowning about. They're just showing off for the cameras. We don't often film these anymore. And, you know, some stones are shyer than others. But uh, these fellas, not a fucking soul around. It's like it's a lockdown or something. Look at this cairn. This is actually probably the most magnificent of all the cairns. Look how clean all that is as well. Uh, big stones. Really looking good. And you can't, there's lots of grass growing up here. You can't see it all. But 
look at the size of that. That probably is visible from 30 or 40 feet in the air if it wasn't for the tree above, the bush above it. All right, we're heading down Stone Pole. The fairy folk didn't turn up, by the way, if you did bet on that. Sorry about that. Oh, there's a nice stone there. That one's within flinging distance of the central ken. Here we go. You watch for it. Oh, sorry, a bit, a bit more wobbly camera work there. Oh, that's a nice one as well. Oh. Watch for it. Oh, do you see it? So, yeah, pretty much back to full fitness. I might go to the gym next week. If allowed. Um, I'm not sure if my immune system is back to normal yet. I'm trying to keep myself to myself. I'm not wearing a mask right now, though, so I uh, could catch anything off these stones. Oh, some nice babies down here. And the new path takes us straight to the stone pole, rather than to the Dominic Cummings Memorial Cairn, which will suffer as a result. But uh, the stone pole what some of you are here for. What did it say last time? Good luck or bad luck? Because it turned out to be quite unlucky, didn't it? For little Richie. Little Richie's old honour the ball sack. I'm ready with my five throws in advance. Just on the off chance that uh, somebody turns up to hunt me down. I'm not used to having so much freedom, to be fair. One out of five is uh, the prediction of Stuff of the Cat. Well, it possibly, yeah, it's been a while. Don't have the dog in the way, though, so that, that might make things a little easier for me. Usually, either the dog's pulling on the lead, often standing directly in front of the stone pole, often trying to stop me acting as a sort of goalkeeper. So, two, three. Anyone going for the full five? You'd be bold. But I think we've seen the power of this stone pole... I've been laid down for six weeks as a result of the bad luck that it gives off. Faced death. I faced my maker, the stone gods. They said to me, Rich, it's not time. I said, what about Prince Philip? They said, nearly time for him. Just wait a bit. I said, can my ball not outlive Prince Philip? They said, no. Part of you has to die for Prince Philip to die. It's sort of like Harry Potter. I didn't know what they were referring to. I do not question the gods. Yeah, very smooth ride around the field today. And uh, as you can see, probably just from the way the camera's bobbing along quite nicely. Uh, I'm pretty much recovered from surgery, so it's auguring well. Oh, there were loads of stones around here. Look, oh, didn't need to carry these ones all across, but it's nice to get some off in the middle. Just checking I'm free to do this. There's the stone pole. Have you missed it? First throw for a while. It's unlikely to hit the first one. Oh, but he does it. He, some things you just, it's like riding a bike. Oh, wrong pole. One out of two. Oh, just nipped it. Two out of three. Three out of four. Could he go for the four? This would be very lucky. Oh, yes. Even left the mark. Four out of five. I don't know if anyone even said that. Uh, if you did say four out of five, please collect your winnings from the Stone Clearing website. Oh, there's someone coming with dogs. I'm going to pretend you're not here for a sec. Hold on. Oh. They found me. <coughs> Looked very like uh, Bill Oddy, the, the goody. Not sure if it was. Judy, we've seen Judy Murray out here, of course. She sometimes is here. We've seen a few celebrities out in the field, but uh, still managed to get this little baby off. Look at that. And that's the clack of a stone hitting another stone. Very. That's what every stone clearer wants to hear as they throw a stone into the bushes. Uh, so one stone Stasi. Didn't recognise him any while well, I recognise him as Bill Oddy. Disappointed to see Bill joining the forces of evil, but um, he's had a tough year, lost Tim, of course. And it must make you question 
your human gods. The stone gods never let you down. Of course. And a kick, just to show that I can still kick. A nice kick, a bit of brick. Kick a brick. That's what they say. And coming around the last corner. Thanks for all the emails that have been coming. Oh, look at that, baby's falling off there. Look at this, it's looking, it's looking good. Someone's been cleaning these stones in my absence. Look at that. That is what we call a can. It goes all around the corner, it comes all the way down here. It's a beauty. Look how far it goes. You think I've been wasting my time out here. Can you see the midges? Of course, we won't be going all the way back to the house today. Uh, I can't give away the secret location of where we are. Uh, I'll sing you a listen to the Fatones, my friend. At uh, the end. Time for uh, some emails. That's a little, nice little can under there. Look at that. I don't remember that one. Uh, coming up to the Ditch to Stop Brexit, of course, as well. Um, some people questioning the Ditch to Stop Brexit, but by questioning the Ditch to Stop Brexit, you make the Ditch to Stop Breakfast. Brexit and breakfast not work. So please think carefully about what your responsibilities are. Look at these beauty. Look at that. That's a nice one. Often not too much going on down this way, but freshly tilled. The soil is giving up its bounty. Had a few emails in. Uh, here's an email from uh, Yellow Twig Barb. But Barbara, Yellow Twig Barb. Barbed yellow twig, unusual name. They should just put her surname first on the email. Um, she says, Richard, I hear you've lost a testicle. Do you think this is a punishment from the stone gods for not doing stone clearing properly? I do. I, you've taken stones off the field and sold them. It's against, there are no rules to stone clearing. That's the first rule of stone clearing. The second rule is that no stones must leave the field. Do you think that you have lost a stone in return for the stones you have stolen? Well, that's quite an aggressive uh, email there from Barb. Barbed yellow twig. I um, was hoping, you know, there'd be a few more kind of welcome back. We missed you, that sort of thing. But that's the one that's come up. Um, I don't think it was a punishment from that. I think it was a reward from the stone gods. For work well done i think they're saying richard will make you slightly less human less of a human man more of a stone man it's not lost on me the coincidence that testes are stones i don't and the testes are also balls and hitler lost a ball none of this stuff is lost on me here's the ditch that stopped brexit i'm just going to kick one down and it's still quite uh, you can just see the stones there's a lot down there, actually, there's, look at that, you can see loads of them there. And I'm putting in a good few. I did the Alfred Nomiga can on the first attempt at filming. So we missed my very first stone for a few months. I've just seen a beauty out here, can't let this go. Look at this, can you see it? Doesn't look much on the camera, but look, get close. This, I can't believe the men at NASA would, and the people at NASA could feel any more excited than I do about that. And that's going in the ditch to stop Brexit, and that is going to do a lot to stop Brexit. Here we go. The Ditch That Stop Brexit does not usually like large offerings, but uh, I've missed a few. I've missed a few. And that's my bad. There you go. That's, that's almost a witch's dick with one ball there. Look at that. That's what I was hoping to achieve. And I think that's a sign from the stone gods that they're pleased with me. It's like the rainbow that came from your humans' gods. Um, the gods did see it and they said that it was good so these babies are going on the uh, now after an Amiga can we'll sing the hymn as it was sung to, uh, by him before us in memory of him that we may clear stones to it's been nice to take you around the field thanks for so many of you coming along um I'll try to go back to uh, to weekly videos if I can. It's obviously a lot of stuff going on still, so 
but we'll be back with the audio ones. This might also be an audio one, if, it, if I can make it work. Just as a little extra. Not necessarily an official chapter, but uh, just as I stand in some midges that you can't see, I fell thing the thong. Liffen to the photons, my friend, for they foul thingy a merry dance. Don't liffen to the birds and trees. Don't liffen to your underpants. Liffen to the photons. Liffen to the photons. And they in turn shall liffen to ye, my friend. My fine friend. Okay, kids. 250 of you at the end. Too many, really. Keep the numbers down next time, but I appreciate the thought today. Um see you out here again it's good to be back